second time in a week stemming from child abuse allegations. Okay, and they got cameras. Well. We just, just called out her name, so. Please, Marvin. Do the chronicle. Just call out her name. Oh, he said you Just grab her. Oh, that's what he said. He just called out her name. They trying to hide. They got this big ass camera up here. They see what's going on out here. Hmm? I heard him inside. Police department. I always wanted to kick a door. Dude, <laughs> open up! You better go, PD. Fuck is on the ground. Hello. Hi. Hi. Huh? I was in the bathroom. I was in the bathroom. Okay. Kids in the bathroom. Okay. Are you your vet? Yeah, Yvonne. Uh, sorry, Yvonne, your vet. Yes. vet. Okay. Well, Mr. Vet, you have a uh, or Yvonne, you have a warrant out for your arrest. Okay. So we need you to come. Can I get my shoes? We'll get your shoes in just in a second. Okay. What happened? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on? What's going on? She's out of warrant. Let's step back. Okay. Let me get her shoes. Yeah, grab her shoes. Why am I getting arrested? They're not temperatures. Police handcuffed the woman seen here, identified as 40-year-old Yvonne Lagardi after she allegedly hit one of her teenage children with a mop handle, leaving what? multiple welts on the child. The teen reportedly ran to a nearby library before telling police Yvonne hit him over, quote, not cleaning the backyard properly. But this incident is far from the worst of Yvonne's child abuse allegations. Oh, I'm going to get I'm going to get you have a child abuse warrant. What? We gotta watch this guy on the inside, suspect. We'll get your shoes here right now. Oh, there's no one right now. Why is her not getting arrested? She didn't do the thing. She didn't do. Listen. Listen. Both of y'all get y'all ass back inside before we take you down to the precinct, also, and have some questions. And your mom has a warrant for child abuse. We're on her ass. We're doing our job. Please back up and go get her shoes. It's not us. She's going to get out later, okay, when she has a bond, and she's going to have her date in court to explain what happened, okay? I'm assuming you guys know kind of what this is about. Just watch the baby. Can you get her shoes on? Because it's hot. Yeah, yeah. She, and, she, and she's very <laughs> She hit your brother with a mop. Back with Yvonne, officers work to keep the situation calm as this arrest continues. I'll let you just over here, okay? And then we'll get you some shoes, right, man? Yeah, I'm not resisting or anything. No, no, no. I'll let you, if they want to see. <laughs> Marily, get my phone. Call Stacy, call Alma. Do you want your phone to come with you? Do you want to bring your phone with you? Do you, you want anything with you? Like your my idea? Phone. Just your phone. I'm going to take your phone with you. I want to see if I'm, so they're not going to put no bum on you. I can't get bonded out. Mommy, you want your phone? Yeah, no, well, you're not going to call Alma and Ceci. Okay. Andre, call my... We'll get you your socks here in a minute. Oh, we'll put your shoes on right now. Your socks will go with this stuff. Who wants to say bye real quick? Um, can we bring the car? Go bring another car and you can say bye to the window. One officer goes to drive a patrol car closer to the home while our suspect decides to give police a piece of her mind. You know what? I wanted to say bye to Leo, but he's been to me. Okay, this one right here. I wanted to say bye to the baby, but it's okay. Just watch over him for me. 
No, just watch him from the place. My baby's autistic. My baby's autistic. Well, gonna, you know, if he see you like that, he's going to be there in prison. I'm going to hug my wife real quick. He's right there. I'm sorry, baby. I'm going to get you out. Yeah. You'll see the judge in the morning, okay? We'll get you out of here we'll so out all the neighbors are going to be coming out. I'm going to put these socks on. I'm going to put these socks on. Oh, you want me to put these ones on? I want to put these. Here, any more. Okay. We're not doing it, man. No, no, it's not that fall. serious, I don't want man. Fall. It's not that serious, bro. You don't care about me. You're being a to me. Like, if I committed this. It's okay. It's okay. They're just, they're just doing their job. Not him. Just be nice, bro. Just be nice, man. You know the situation. Just watch my baby. You need I got to him. You know him. I got him. You know I got him. Call, call my job I'm tomorrow. A, I'm going to call people right now. Of course, it had to be a brother out here, man. It had to be a brother. Not my brother, but a brother. Damn, not my niggas going out sad like this. Man. What does the world come to? Got your bag, don't worry about it. You call Jamie tomorrow? Do you want us to bring her phone with her or no? Yes. You want your phone or you, you or no? I I keep it. No, just keep it. You got to call my sister. Okay. Is there, do you have any jewelry on you that you want to stay here? Oh, do you have earrings or sorry. rings or anything? Wait, 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 wait. Do you want me to take it off of you? Or? I can't take it off. It's, it's too tight. Oh, is it tight? Yes. Okay. We're going to take it, we gonna take it off in the jail. Okay. Do you have any questions for us? No. No. Um, no, she's going to jail. Yeah. So, so like I said, she'll oh, that see might not be a brother. This man looks Hispanic. I don't know if he's one of us. He might not be like us. He might be Hispanic. We'll hold for further judgment. Determine if she's going to get released on bond or anything like that. But she'll be allowed is, to call is this a misdemeanor or a felony? Mm, a felony. This is a felony. A felony yeah. first, what kind of felony is it? It's cruelty to a child. I mean, is it class felony? Is it like one, two, three, four, five? Or six, um, I think it's, 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 it's either a second. It's, it's a second or a third. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's right around there. Okay. We can, it's going to say on the paperwork, so we'll know as soon as we get the paperwork. It's just there's another piece saying there's one for She's got to get served. Uh, the rest of us. Come my work. I work my job. Okay, I'm about to. Let's meet these. I even go up there. I'm going to talk to Jamie. 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 I'm Man, I don't know. Okay, I'm just, I just, it's just one of those things. We gotta check you regardless. Do you have underwear on underneath this? Oh, okay. she ain't got no underwear on under like this. Do high for draw. I'd be surprised if more things I find in this box. Oh, I'm just a second. I got artistic baby. I'm pulling on everything, so I don't mind. Oh, yeah, no. Watch my babies. Watch my heel. Fun MC for me. Uh, you need to the rest of the baby. Yvonne was booked for child abuse and later released, but it wouldn't be long until another arrest reveals even more troubling allegations. Just three days later, police are back at Yvonne's home after a second arrest warrant alleged she forced her children to smoke cigarettes until one threw up and pepper sprayed them both after becoming upset about the vomiting. All I forgot that. I forgot about the pepper spraying. I was just thinking about getting hit by that mop and the vaping. I forgot all about her pepper spraying the kids because they were, oh my goodness. All this after the 40-year-old mother apparently found a vape. The warrant goes on to say that Yvonne allegedly used pepper spray as a punishment before, once after accusing a child of stealing money from her purse. Let's join police back at that Las Cruces home as they try to make contact with Yvonne. Hey, everybody, we're going to get you right back to that body cam in just. Hey, they need to kick the door in on her. It's no more being nice to Yvonne. You got to kick the door in, put her ass on the ground, man. This is only three days later after she got arrested for the first child abuse warrant.
Can you ask me? Is there a way we can meet with you before work right now? No, because I'm going right now. Oh, well, it's going to take like two minutes, I promise you. We could even do it like in front of your work if you want. Wait, you don't have a warrant? Oh no, we're not here for that. No, I, we're not. We're not here for no warrant service. We were here because the detective asked wants us to ask you a couple questions because she's out of town right now. So we have to get a recorded line um, with you, like a like a little interview, and that way we can go ahead and say that we did our part or they did their part, pretty much. Well, before we could, but now in New Mexico, they want us to, it has to be like, because it could be anybody through a video camera. Like, you can say you're Yvonne, which I believe you, but we don't know. Like, I never met you before. You know what I mean? So it has to be in person. We didn't even, we didn't even know you had a warrant. We, uh, we, didn't, we didn't know you had a municipal warrant. We're not, we're not municipal cops. We're not here for any type of petty stuff. We're really not. It'll take like two can minutes. I be, can I meet up? Can I meet up with you? Huh? Yeah, of course. Are you gonna come here to the house, or do you, what did you want to meet up at? Well, you know, what? I can have my friend drop me off at the house. At the house right now? Or, or she can drop me off like at Walmart, or we can meet up at Walmart. Okay, which Walmart? With Yvonne not home, officers devise a ruse to meet our suspect at a nearby Walmart. A short time later. Police catch up with the 40-year-old and reveal the truth. Hey. Freeze! Los Cruz! Uh, fucking PD, get on the ground! Get on the ground! Man, they need to go playing around. You're going to serve a warrant, you need to serve the warrant the right way. No guns necessary, but a little bit of use of force. Especially for this motherfucker we just served a warrant three days ago. Good morning. Are you Yvonne? No. Oh, no, who's Yvonne? Oh, hi. Are you Yvonne's friend? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Uh, how's it going? You Yvonne? Yes, I'm Yvonne. Yvonne, uh, what's your last name? Lagardi. Lagardi. Yes. And we're the ones talking to you over the... Uh, speaker. The, the speaker, yes. yeah. Are you okay? What's no, I'm scared. Are I'm scared? I'm Because last time I got arrested... Uh, for what? For the child abuse, because my son was raping, and they told me they accused me of, of abusing him. Is that what happened? With my son, yeah. Okay. So, so I'm like, I don't, the judge let me out on what to call on strict stipulations. I'm like, I don't need to get in trouble no more. Is that what happened? Yeah. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen, okay? Okay. Let me hold on to that real quick while I talk to you. This? Okay, so you still have that warrant up. For what for the for the child abuse. What the there it is? They put it out. The detective put a new warrant. They, they just put it out yesterday. What? Yes. Let me Alma. Hold on. Me van a Tenga. You want me to talk to her? Grab the phone. Please grab the phone. Sí, que que otra vez por lo mismo. Espérame, sí. Sí, por el mismo. Pero creo que es otro cargo. El el mismo cargo. Ajá. Pero pero otro incidente. Otro incidente. Sí, because you already got arrested for it once, right? Yeah. Okay, so, so this is going to be on a, a, a different charge. Same charge, but different incident. What I just told her. The detective just put it out. So, they just put it out yesterday. So what's going to happen with me? Like, when am I going to see the judge or what? Like, so today is Thursday. Yeah. Probably see him by noon today, maybe. Come on, I can't lose my job. I'll go to, I'll, I'll call your job. I'll talk to him yeah. personally. You know, I tell okay. Them, I tell them know details. They know, they already know what's going on with me. Like, I, I can't okay, well, lose my I'll job. I'll tell them that you're being very compliant with this. Yeah. Okay, I will. I'll get the information for you in a second. All right, but we're going to put you in the back of my partner's car right now, okay? Okay. All right, what do you want to go with you? Just this? Yeah, yeah just my phone. phone. Okay, hold on. Your husband? Yeah, tell him I'm getting arrested. Who, Lorenzo? Yeah. I'll call him. Okay, I'll call him. All right. Um, let's go back here, okay? Yeah. The husband she's talking about, identified as Lorenzo Lagardi, faced his own child abuse allegations after he was accused of beating a child with an electrical cord. I'm going to get your, um, your work information here in a second, okay? 
All right. Hey, I'm sorry we had to do it this way, but we had to. We didn't. We wanted to avoid a barricaded situation and stuff like that. Okay. That's the only reason why. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. No, I'm not gonna lie to you about why we did it. I want your person lied to you on why we made sure well, we brought yeah, you over I was, here. I was in hiding. We just we didn't want you to find out what we were there for, and then you would not come out, and then we have to get SWAT to come out, and then it's just a whole ordeal. Okay. All right. So it's better that we did it this way. All right. Yeah. But I just don't understand why, like. Because how we told so, you. So they released. They released. You think I'm gonna get in trouble for for picking up the, like, with the judge not letting me out no more? No, I think you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be okay. This is this is a whole different. Yeah, but he told me I can't get in trouble. Was it the same day? Yeah, he told you that. You want to smoke before you? I don't smoke. Luckily for Yvonne, the officer allows her to refuse a smoke break. The police aren't done talking to her just yet. How much more? Like. It just got it just got put out last night. It just got put out last night. But what is it for? Child abuse. We're just the ones that they sent to find these people. So does the Andre have a warrant to his? No, he doesn't. <laughs> okay, go to, is he under Brett? No, it's under work message. 280, I will drive 280, I will break. Work messaging? Have a nice break. Can I take my daughter with us? No, as of right now, no. Okay. And there's a reason for that? It's my older one. She's I, 21. I know. There's a reason for that specifically where we can't. Do you want to call her when you're at jail? You can, but as of right now, we, we can't, okay? I do want you to understand we have to go about it this way. Okay. Had we told you that you were. um. There was a felony warrant for child abuse. Okay, you would have been on the run. You would have done something else. Okay, we wanted to avoid any type of incident in the situation. Okay, for the safety of everyone, especially you, specifically you. Okay. Can you see if you guys can put me in court right now? So I will miss work. I'll, we'll talk to them right now. Okay. No, I have bills to pay. I know. I know. I know. We'll talk, talk to them right now. Okay. The earlier you go in, the better. Okay. Please. Okay. Please. I promise you. And I'm gonna I'll, I'll do my best to make sure that Brett understands. Um, this totality of circumstances, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I will let him know that you were very compliant in this whole situation, the whole investigation, okay? All right. Hey, whenever the police say that we're gonna let them know you were compliant, that shit does nothing for you. Your ass is still getting them charges, you're still going down. So you might as well. Well, I'm not saying don't cooperate, but just don't say nothing and go to jail because yeah. She cooperated with us. We need to judge, be lenient on her now. Take off at least two or three days because she cooperated. She was nice. They don't give a shit about that. That prosecutor is about to lay the book on your lap and tell you to read until you can't read no more. And this is the second arrest within three days, man. This is ridiculous. An officer drives Yvonne close to the jail before a transport van arrives to take her inside. The handcuffs are really, really tight. Huh? The handcuffs are really, really tight. They're tight. Let me, yeah, let me loosen them up for you. Her policy. God, you can always step up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Do you know I'm going to have a little bit for this one? Um, let me check. There might, I think there might be one. to give you, I'm going to transport, I'll transfer you over to this room. Hey, that, that is the same shirt, but I, it can't be the same one as you. I mean, it's it's the same style and the brand, but it can't be the same one. That little girl's shirt, ain't no way.
Oh, does he come in here? Yeah. They're our transport, they're like our transport unit. So they are the ones who like transport everyone that we who we arrest if they're available. That would so, be that would be. Can you tell me if I'm gonna have a bomb? Yeah, let me let me give you oh, okay, let yeah. me give you over to him first. Yes, yeah, I understand. Okay, he's gonna swap he's not gonna be close that's on you. Okay, well, then I'm gonna go with I'm gonna walk through. That's the only reason why I had her outside, because I had a loose little one. Yeah, you guys are already rolling up. Ah, sorry, this is. This is a super good person. Did you go out to the dog store? Yeah, it was early. It's only what? It's only a couple of days. Yeah, okay, thank you. Unfortunately, it's not. No? No, maybe tomorrow. Because they've been okay. They've been backlogged. So, so they've been healthy. They've been trying to catch up with everything. Yesterday. Since he was charged. The sworn shows Yvonne has faced at least 27 counts of child abuse charges since 2013. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In 11 years, 27 counts? Hey, she needs to just stay in jail, man. Them kids don't need to be at the house. 27 counts in 11 years is crazy. Witnesses said in the affidavit that Yvonne often goes, quote, overboard with her punishments. But things became worse when she married Lorenzo. And the pair, quote, yeah. fed off of each other. Uh -huh. Got you tight. Yeah, thank you so much. So I want to say that yesterday. More than likely not. You still have a chance to, but it's... Less of it. No, I understand. It's it's just one of those things that the detention center will be able to tell you more about whether they'll be able to get you to a judge today or yeah, not. I already got charged with television again. Like two days ago, I was in jail. I got released. I mean, like I'm, I already missed work. I don't want to lose my job. No, I understand. But yeah. yeah, like I said, the detention center they can tell you more. As far as I understood, uh, even if coming in like today. It still, it still has to come in and wait for the judge to put you through and they take you the, ne the very next morning. So what's up tomorrow, do you know? Uh, that I don't know. I know, it's, I know it's, it's long before 12, but I don't know how long they take or how quickly they are over there. I know they take large groups of people all the time throughout the day. But it's through magistrate, which is usually the court that goes the quickest. So, okay. Yvonne was taken to jail and booked for abuse of a child. Court documents show she posted bond the next day. The 40 year old mother is expected back in court this summer. L-E-G-A-R-D-R. Did you do that? I don't want you to get your blood pressure up. I'll wait. Do you have anything on me that can put stuff on me? Any guns, weapons, inside your body, drugs? Anything that you would need to be verified? Yeah, right, now well, there we go, man. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood, man. A wonderful day in the neighborhood. 27 counts, 11 years, 40 years old, 29 years old is when all of this was documented. So it probably started before then, probably about like 25. Yeah, she don't need her kids. She don't need no job. They need to strip her of everything, man. Talking about I already miss work. Yeah, you're gonna miss a little bit more work now. But they need to go ahead and get her ass the hell up out of there. But so she hit one of the kids with a mop. He ran away. There was a kid that got caught vaping. She made the kids smoke cigarettes. Then she pepper sprayed them for throwing up. Like, and that's just the shit that we heard about. So you know it's, it's way worse. 
incidents that happened besides that. And we need to look into the guy, too, because they said once she married him, they started tag teaming. I mean, I don't, man, it's some wild stuff, man. When it comes to messing with kids, man, you got it. You got to, you got to take the kids out of that house, man. Now, I don't know how New Mexico works, but they need to remove those kids from that household. All of them. Lock them up. But there we go. That's the more you know. We got the Carly Russell update. We got the family affair over at Dick's where they were stealing and fighting and fighting and stealing. And then we just had this mother over here with the uh, uh, the child abuse, twenty seven counts, two arrests, and within three days. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna try to do a live, but if not, I'm gonna be knocking out videos to upload for Friday, Saturday, Sunday while I'm gone. We got the Olympics this weekend. I'm gonna try to get some footage while we're there. Hopefully. I can get on this Eiffel Tower tour probably like at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but then we got the Olympics, man. Hopefully everything goes according to plan. There ain't no wild shit going on. I ain't got to come back a true American hero. But uh, I, I'm excited. Tomorrow morning I got to go buy some tires for the car, man. Sure enough. Sure enough. 